Hello, I will show you today what happens if you have fixed duration task and some resource which is not available all the time for this task. You can see I have task five days from Monday to Friday, from 12th of June to 16th of June. And I have resource here, okay, John. Once again, from 12th to 16th, and let's say that for, in my case, let's say here, sorry, project, change working time, that you will see that I am looking for calendar, for base calendar, calendar standard for John, that I will say day off, and I will say that he is on 13th day off, or let's say on 14th of June at Wednesday, and let's say day off on Friday, which will be 16th, okay? So John has two day off, okay? Now we know that we go to task, we go to Gantt chart, but basically I will use task usage. It will show better what happens. And now I will use in details task form. And I will go, if you don't see that, then you should click here and go to work. And I will say that this task is fixed duration. And I will assign John. You will see that this task has five days duration and John is going to work 24 hours, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Why? Because he is off on Wednesday and Friday. And a lot of people are asking me, Nenad, but if this is fixed duration task and it is five days and we know that John, for example, is not available all days, why Microsoft Project doesn't extend duration, in my case, in seven days? Because if it ex uh, extended in seven days, okay, automatically, automatically, John will fulfill 40 uh, uh, the, uh, his 40 hours as it was expected. No, this is not expected. When you say fixed duration, you say, I couldn't care less how much someone will work if that person has a day off or not. It should be done in this period, which means in five working days. And those five working days start at Monday, finish on Friday. And when you assign someone who is not available all the time, you should be aware that that person will not going to work on the exception time, in my case, in Wednesday and Friday. So 24 hours is pretty much fine and enough for John to finish that task. If you see that John cannot do that task because he's on vacation, you can go on resource sheet, not here, of course, not on resource sheet here, here on resource sheet, and see if you have another resource. If you have, and Mary is not on her vacation, now I can say, I don't want John, I want Mary, and you will see if I go to here to task usage, that Mary, sorry, sorry, that Mary is going to work 24 hours because I replace her. So let me see what, uh, let me show you what you should do. Let's go to resource sheet here. Okay. Mary, okay. Let's go to Gantt chart here or task usage here. And I cannot just replace John. I will erase John and I will click on OK. Now I have five days. Now I'm going to go and put Mary here and I will get what I want. If I don't do that, if I add first John and then replace with Mary, I will get her to work 24 hours in five days which is not what, what, what is expected. So once again, what you can do, 
you can add Mary and erase John. What will you have here? What that exactly what you wanted. But don't go here and exp and change John to Mary. It doesn't work as it was expected. It only works when you add another resource and remove, in my case, Mary, and remove John. But anyhow, if you have fixed duration task and the resource is not available all the time, the work will be done and the effort will be calculated according to days in, uh, in which that resource is available. Okay? Hope it helps and see you soon.